hello, hello, and welcome to the vlog. I should be like a rapper, right? Probably not, but today is a good day. It is hump day, it's Wednesday, which means it's trash takeout day. And <coughs> there's a dog. Um, I've taken the dog on a walk. I have also shoveled because it snowed again. And um, yeah, I got motivated after the shoveling and I did something, you guys. You wanna see? You wanna see? Da -da -da. I made a thing. Da! You guys wanna see closer? I know a couple of you do, so let's take a look. All right, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I went to a place called At Home in Blaine. That's where I got all of this from, minus the pine cone garland and the tray, and I'll talk about that stuff in a moment. But I got these really pretty, they're kind of like mercury glass, but then they have gold, you know, hardware. And I got these lanterns from at home. They're kind of like silver and gold. And then I got these guys. These are like a wax candle, but it's like a battery operated wax candle. Right now I have them on the six hour setting. So that's kind of cool. They don't flicker, but I don't really mind that. And then also I got these trees, which are kind of lost, I feel like, but I still like them. So I'm going to keep them. Um, I got these like glittery green trees from at home. And then well, let me take this out for a second. I got some coasters and then under that is an upside down little tiny bowl because they needed a little bit more height with the garland that I put with it. And the garland I actually got from Wayfair, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Wayfair. And it's the same garland doo -doo -doo -doo, that is on my banister as well as up above there. It is a lighted garland, so I did actually put some batteries in it over here so it's like kind of like lit up a little bit but um yeah the pine cones are kind of huge but i still really like it so whatever and then um these little white i don't know berry things um i also got it at home and they came three to a pack so there's six total in here i just kind of like shoved them in they're all in a wire and then this tray is like freaking amazing right so it's like a wood lacquered tray and i got it at west elm and you can thank my bestie instagram enabler kelly nan for that i will put her blog down below she has like the most amazing home and lifestyle blog it's so good i want to like buy all the things that she recommends for sure so she enabled this 100%. And I'm sure you guys are thinking like, oh my gosh, that is like ginormous for your table. But my table actually extends. So during the holidays, it's going to be extended for my holiday gathering. So I thought that was really cute. I mean, what do you guys think? I hope that you guys like it. I do realize the pine cones are like a little bit overwhelming, but like, isn't the holidays just like a little bit overwhelming anyway? So like, let's just go with it. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's what I did for the last like 20 minutes is put that little bad boy together. And I've been wanting to put it together for a while. I just haven't felt motivated. So like, I've just been trying to give myself some space to just do what I feel like doing. You know what I mean? So anyway, oh, and I should check my chargers with the size of that little like tablescape thing. So I have my chargers sitting out because I don't know where to put anything. And I'm like, oh, why put it out if I'm just gonna like grab for it in a week or two anyways. So I have two chargers here. I got mine from World Market. Again, another Kelly Nan situation. Ooh, it's kind of coming off. Let's see, let's check the other side. Okay, this side, it fits perfect. So I think I'm just gonna like fudge it a little bit and like move this sucker a little further this way because the charger is just kind of cute. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it'll be fine. It's just gonna be over a little bit. My table's a little bit narrow. It's from Ikea. Ikea typically has like really efficient furniture and not like oversized furniture. So, and I can always move this too if it's like too much, you know what I'm saying? So I'll figure that out like the day of the gathering because I can always put it somewhere else. But I think it's super cute, right? So anyway, let's turn the tree on. Oh, there's the Doyle on his couch. Hi, buddy. Hello, hello. 
I got another one of those like today when I'm out walking the dog. I get like the weirdest comments about him. Um, but there was a guy shoveling his driveway too and he has a dog that's like never on a leash. That kind of bothers me because I'm sure his dog is extremely friendly. And um, hi, can I? Jeez. Oh, um, I'm sure his dog is extremely friendly and very, very well behaved. And I'm not trying to like shade anybody that doesn't have their dog on a leash. But Doyle is so neurotic around other dogs and that's why he is specifically on a leash all the time. I'm always fearful that that dog is gonna come up to him. But I did talk to him today. I was just like passing by and his dog was like in the driveway with him off of a leash. And I was like, hey, just FYI, like my dog is not friendly to other dogs. And he's like, oh, he looks really friendly. I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, an ax murderer can look friendly too, but like Doyle's crazy. Like, do you see this? He's a little bit nuts. Yeah. Yeah, he's having a good old time. But I'm like, just because a dog looks friendly doesn't mean it is friendly. And like, the most unfriendly looking dogs are usually like the sweetest dogs. So, I don't know. I was like, yeah, you know, he's just really doesn't like other dogs. He never has. Uh, he really likes people, but he really doesn't like other dogs. So I'm just letting you know. Um, and I said like, do I need to pick up my dog? And he's like, no, I'll just tell my dog to go inside. Like, okay, well, that's cool. I, I like your style, dude. But now he knows. And he rents, there, it's a rental across the street. And um, we're like kind of like, across the street kitty corner a little bit. So um, I see him out walking his dog once in a while too, but I'm always so fearful that like some dog is gonna go bolting towards Doyle cause he looks friendly, you know? And um, it's not gonna end well cause Doyle is gonna go apeshit crazy. So yeah. Anyway, that's enough of me talking about other puppies, but um, I wish Doyle was friendly though guys. I like really wish he was friendly, but he's just, he's just not. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nope, nothing I can do about it. This dude's almost 11. I don't think he's ever gonna get the friendly with the other puppies. Can, can I, can I have this? Can I, can I have this? Yeah. Oh. Ready? Whee! <laughs> he just loves playing with his little duck today. That's his, you know, baby of choice. I call his, uh, all his little plushy toys, his babies. By the way, isn't this so much cleaner than before? <laughs> because I wrapped like all the gifts, you guys. I don't know if I've shown that yet, but there's like a lot more gifts underneath there now, which makes me feel really accomplished. But I did film a gift wrapping video, which I'm not sure if that will be up before this video or not, but I gotta say, I haven't even watched the footage back, but I was out of frame like so much in the video and it kind of was driving me crazy actually just filming it. So I may just scrap it and then film another one, even though I don't really have anything. I mean, I guess I have a couple of things to wrap, but they're for like gifts for people in another state that I can just ship to them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really like, I need to look at the footage though. I just need to look at the footage because I just, I'm very suspect that it's not good. I'm very suspect that it's not good. What do you think, Doyle? Do I need to film another gift wrapping video? Probably, probably. Um, I don't really have an update from the overstock situation. Uh, they emailed me, it was the same email um, that I read to you guys last night and um, they're gonna be sending me out my actual items. <laughs> I did get the return slip, so that is gonna be going back. Um, I just left the little rug thing at my office because we typically get UPS like once a week, so hopefully, but we haven't had it this week at all, so I don't know. I told the guy that actually orders stuff that comes UPS, so I was like, dude, you need to order some more stuff because like, I gotta return this thing. <laughs> and um, so yeah, so hopefully um, we'll get UPS this week or next week. I have like 45 days or something to return it, so I'm not really worried about it. And I can go to a UPS store too, but just to like not go would be like really helpful, but hmm, we'll see. If it if I don't get 
a UPS driver that comes to my office by the end of next week, I will take it to a UPS store for sure. So just to make sure that it, you know, gets to the right place it needs to be going. But anyway, um, I have been rambling on for a little bit too long about things that probably don't matter, but that's the whole point of a vlog, right? Yep. Um, I'm going to eat a little bit of something and then um, I don't know what I'm going to do because yesterday I said I was going to edit and then I didn't. And um, tonight I should edit, but I don't know if I'm going to. So it's going to depend on how the mood strikes me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so uh, I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so it is past like 10.30 at night. I didn't get anything done. I just kind of like hung out on the internet and got suckered into watching a bunch of videos. Anyway, um, I just took the dog out on a walk and took the trash out. Here's the pooper. And I figured I would show you guys um, how he gets his meds. I don't know, it's not very exciting, but he has one quarter of a piece of cheese every morning and every evening. So basically he has a half a slice of cheese a day. So it's obviously the evening time. So we're gonna go for the one quarter that is in here. And we're gonna put this one back cause this is what he's gonna eat tomorrow. So yeah, I used to let him eat like a whole slice of cheese every single time or like one a day. And I'm like, there's no reason for that. So here is his little pill container. So we're on Wednesday evening. And um, yeah, here's his beautiful pills. He takes seizure medication, he takes fish oil, and then he also takes uh, like a generic Benadryl, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> because he has like itchy, um, itchy skin. So, and then he just eats it like that. He's so excited about it. It's like his most exciting time of the day, but Anyway, update on the centerpiece. I'm getting lots of nice comments about it. I did turn all of the like electrical things off, so that's good. And now I'm gonna turn all the other electrical things off and Doyle's like, peace out lady, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and the heater or the furnace just kicked on, so that's like his most favorite thing is to sit on the um, heat vent upstairs. Oh. You know, I bought this like timer thing <laughs> for the treat. I've never learned how to program it. I just have it plugged in. I don't know. Maybe I'll learn how to program it at some point. I just like haven't sat down and <laughs> decided to do it. Oh gosh, some days I'm like super duper motivated and other days I'm like freaking the laziest as they come. I'm gonna put all of my water in my tea kettle so I'll be ready to go for the morning time. And yeah, that's that's what's happening. I'm going to bed, you guys. That's exactly what's happening. All right, so I got all my water in my tea kettle. And then in the morning, I just need to like flip the switch and click it on and wait for it to get done. And while I wait, I never showed you guys this in the morning because I'm not a morning person, but I, cut an apple, take an apple, cut it. My favorite is a honey crisp. I don't think it'll, nope, it's not gonna focus, it's okay. Um, a honey crisp and then I have one like little packet of strawberry yogurt as well. So I prep the apple, I eat that actually on my way to work in the morning and then um, I have the yogurt as I'm just kind of waiting for the tea to get done, just to kind of like get something in my system so I don't eat like really super gross things throughout the day. But yeah, that's the update here. I'm gonna finish and drink the rest of my water here because I like to have at least two of these when I get home from work every day full of water. I swear, it's water you guys. <laughs> And um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's, I mean, you know, it's, I feel like I've been super boring lately, but also I feel like that because I haven't actually watched back any of the footage because I haven't done any ending. So I think that's part of it. But anyway, but I'm gonna let you guys go for now because if I keep going, I'm just gonna ramble on about like total nonsense that you guys probably don't care about, I don't know. I can save it for another day, okay? But I think I'm gonna do a laundry day Q&A. I don't think this video will be posted by the time it's laundry day Q&A. 
but my next laundry day q a like the next friday i guess i should say not this friday but next friday my brother's gonna be in town so i don't really want to do a q a then because i want to show i'm gonna bake that day right like emily's gonna bake like oh my gosh alert the authorities you guys <laughs> but i want to show you guys the baking process and i don't want to do like a q a and i haven't done a q a yet in this vlogging series so i thought it would be kind of fun so i'm going to post on instagram and facebook uh questions or not questions but like a call for questions and then hopefully some of you will ask some questions and i will do a laundry q a this upcoming friday so yeah but i think i'm going to post that tomorrow so you guys have enough time to you know ask your questions because i will answer most any question there's a few i don't answer because it's like either nobody wants to know that or you're just being freaking nosy so no thank you <laughs> but all right i rambled on for too long i'm gonna go i will see you guys tomorrow for the next vlogmas thanks for staying tuned feel free to thumbs up the video or like that if you liked it and then um you can always subscribe too I will be back for more of Vlogmas very, very soon, and I will see you then. Bye, guys.